Nothing like a bouncy camera. Okay, we're gonna another, do another journaling with balance video, working with our yin yang um, drawing guides um, or creation guides, whatever you wanna call them. I think my little one is downstairs. I did find the big one. Here's the medium one we've been using. It fits well in this journal. There is a smaller size. I think it might be downstairs, but anyway. Um, I cut two pieces out of the medium size, out of scrapbooking paper. If you're like me, you've got a bin of scrapbooking paper or you've got wrapping paper or old book text or something laying around your creative space. So I cut our two pieces out. I did punch the holes out where they are supposed to be in the yin yang shape. And I have the two dots that I punched out here. Um, and I picked papers that, again, working with this shape in my journal is all about balance. Um, you can't have the light without the dark, so to speak. Um, I like to have a balance of things. I don't like to live too far into the light or into the good or too far into the dark and into the sad. I like to be in the middle. The middle is a happy place, a balance. There's got to be a balance. There can't be one without the other. Um, Anyway, and I wanted to symbolize that with the papers I chose in that we have sort of the freeform watercolory shapes of the feathers on the one paper, which is a Webster's Pages paper, by the way. And then we have the sort of blueprint, rigid, straight line drawings in the other paper. And I don't know, I don't know what paper this is. I just had a small piece of it and I have no idea. If somebody out there knows, write it down uh, or leave a comment and we can let everybody else know. So I want to sort of symbolize um, sort of a coming together of balance of, um, you know, working out things in your life, in your emotions of, um, you know, finding the freedom along with the control, right? So I think I'm going to symbolize that with these two papers on this page. I may... Um, as you see me playing with this here, I may arrange them in a way that it looks like they're sort of coming together but not fully formed yet. Um, first, I want to work on the background. And um, I have some leftover paint here from another project I just filmed and it just so happens that those colors will, will work well on here. I have some of my stencils from my Etsy shop just sitting here out here on the table got some faces, but I don't think they work for this project. Um, I do have a couple of random abstracted shapes. Let's see, there's one more. Yep, here we go. Um, they're called scratches, one, two, and three. So I think we're gonna play with those. And I think these two symbolize similar things to what is going on in the um, scrapbooking papers. So we're gonna do this one, which is scratches three. And then we're gonna do this one which is scratches two, kind of looks like a heartbeat. I'm going to fast forward through my process and I'll be right back.
Okay, I really like this page. This really illustrates for me my journey of finding my balance. I did do some journaling in the background rather than on the yin yang symbols, the pieces. I didn't completely put it together um, to sort of show how sometimes the balance is broken and you're trying to find it and put it back together again. Um, for me, that's what it symbolizes anyway. I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do in your journal to journal and work through your feelings, your anxiety, your depression, whatever it is in a creative, healthy manner. Um, whether you're doing this kind of journaling or some other kind, um, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pre even pretty. It just has to be a healthy outlet for you to express how you're feeling. So this is my page. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave it down below. Uh, all the relevant links, places you can support my free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups um, is also in the video description. So check it out. There's a bunch of different ways to do that. The most important thing is to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.